Let's now look at the silicon life cycle. As we look at mission critical applications in the data center space, the IoT space, or the automotive space, we can no longer be blind to what's happening inside the chips, especially during in-field operation. We need deep visibility into the chip's operation for accurate measurements as well as adjustments during in-field operation. So we need a new paradigm to optimize operational metrics like resilience, like security, as well as robustness of designs. Our approach is really to manage the design through the entire silicon life cycle. All the way from design construction, we want to insert monitors and sensors into the design in order to be able to monitor process, voltage, temperature, as well as other phenomenon during the execution. We want to extract the data from these sensors and monitors during yield and test optimization in order to rapidly debug failures. We want to analyze this data during system bring up in order to debug functionality, as well as we want to monitor as well as optimize during in-field operation so that we can optimize metrics like resilience as well as security. This approach where you really gather the data across the whole continuum from design through production, through bring up all the way to infield is what we term as silicon lifecycle management. And we have put together an impressive array of technologies and products in order to cover the entire life cycle. Whether it's our MoreTech PVT in-chip monitors and sensors, our Prime Shield technology for design robustness analysis, our Yield Explorer technology for rapid diagnosis, uh, Silicon Dash technology, which is the industry's first big data platform for silicon analytics, or our ability to pull the data off chip using high-speed interfaces. All these are integral components of our solution. Here is an example of how customers are using our SLM technology to improve in-field performance. By inserting voltage and temperature monitors and sensors into the designs, they are able to extract that data from the chip and then adjust the voltage and the frequency accordingly, depending upon what the readouts are in terms of temperature as well as voltage variation. So this is a great example of how having these monitors and sensors allows us to review the design during its operation in the field and then make the necessary adjustments to optimize the overall system level performance.